Yoski. Let's talk about cardboard and the stuff you can make out of cardboard. So probably if you like uh, most people, when you think about cardboard, uh, you have the free ply in your mind, which is like the two straight sides and the corrugated one inside. Well, this is a very thin specimen. It was actually used as a spacer inside the proper box, but uh, this is not the only kind of cardboard you can get. You can also get this sort of stuff. You see, this is a five ply. You have three straight plies and two corrugated ones. And believe it or not, those corrugations, the uh, geometry, the pattern, it's actually standardized and they have uh, letter codes like A, B, C, D. Though, thankfully, I'm not the cardboard scholar, so I haven't dug any deeper into, into that. It's just that this stuff, it's structurally sound, as you can hear, and you can make things out of it. And when I'm saying things, I don't mean art pieces, you know, look at me, never touch me, you know, just uh, be very careful. No, actual stuff that maybe you will not be throwing around, uh, at least not for very long, but something that will still be extremely useful and a joy to make, because, you know, for cardboard, all you need is a hot glue gun and a sharp knife, and basically you can do quite a lot of stuff in less than an afternoon. So let's get to the showcase. And first, uh, one of the relatively recent projects, a glue pen holder. And yeah, I've actually started this video making session with doing the B-roll. So I'll talk now and probably insert uh, some moving pictures for your enjoyment. So this stuff, I haven't even uh, like made any sort of a drawings, just measurements and pretty much went with it as I was doing it. So I didn't know the size of like the small and uh, larger uh, wall pieces here. I had the general idea with the notion that you should be able to take the stuff like easily. And the major theme for all of them is that you have to be able to grab them from the top and move them around with one hand. Now, if you're worried that this is slightly precarious in terms of the actual things, well, the tools falling out, it is slightly, but again, you're not gonna be supposed to be throwing this around. And the general notion, you have all the stuff you need in one place, so you need to glue plastic, you need to glue not the plastic, just grab this thing, well, maybe not as energetically, but you get the idea. This and this thing, it's like one day project. Uh, really, it's, it's a joy to work with. Now, something that's uh, both simpler and more involved is this holder. It's much heavier than this one. I haven't weighed them or I did, but I forgot. So apologies. In any case, the thing with the Dremel tool here is that these ones actually stay in place, this one doesn't really. So there was a bit of a actual thinking involved into this piece, which I've strengthened by adding more glue at the sides. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to take out and put in, which again is a thing. And on the other side, you have all the organizers with the tool bits and the accoutrement of the whole thing. And yeah, again, one-handed operation incredibly important in tight spaces. And for the third one and the most involved one, and the one that I wasn't like at all able to make just like, even on like drawing it on paper, yeah, I started probably having my project notebook, some drawings, uh, definitely all of the measurements because there was a lot of them. But anyways, without further ado, this thing, as you can see, this has a lot of pieces because, again, it holds, uh, what, half a dozen tools and uh, their tools for the tools, the accoutrement, all the blades and discs and whatever. And yeah, for this, I actually went and uh, tried FreeCAD, which is a free 3D modeling CAD software, which is pretty awful. But uh, it got the job done. I will probably insert some screenshots here. And yeah, I mean, this is also doable, but not like an afternoon, basically. Uh, 
schedule your Saturday or Sunday to get this done. There's a lot of cutting and even more gluing. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, given the complexity of this, I'm really, really happy that it actually is uh, as usable as I wanted it to be. And again, important thing, you have to be able to just move it around with one hand. The holders here are not as good as I wanted them to be because, yeah, well, as you can see, this is kind of a, like a, a force push here with this uh, one small part. Apologies for my elbow, shoe box. But in any case, yeah, I mean, it is workable and uh, it was a nice lesson. You know, I have never used free card before. I did use like proper mechanical engineering cards a uh, couple of lifetimes ago, so I pretty much know what I want. It's just like learning how to do it in a particular incarnation of a software. And uh, yeah, so I think the main uh, take of this video is that cardboard, the thicker one, is actually extremely useful and a lot of fun to work with. So if you weren't aware or you weren't sure that you can actually make useful stuff out of it, well, here's the proof. This stuff has been here. Well, I should have dates here. Yeah, maybe not a month, but you know, like a number of weeks. Uh, in use, practical use, because, you know, I was actually making those with the one of the pens here and some of the cutters here, though you don't really need all of this stuff just for cardboard, like a proper utility knife, just don't uh, skimp on the blades, if the blade gets a little dull, just break it or get a new one, these are cheap things and you shouldn't be hurting yourself by trying to take maximal utility of a piece of steel that costs uh, probably a couple of cents to make and yeah there's also one bonus thing which i do not have here with me because it's already hanging on the wall it's one of the clocks uh, it's the first proper one the prototype was uh, well it was a learning experience so <laughs> I, I actually dismantled it so the clock stuff again it's a cardboard face the mechanism it's like a five dollar like continuous seconds hand continuous movement stuff from china and I've made three of those, so you're only going to see the first one. The second one is slightly better, but the same size, dif same size different uh, uh, face design. And the third one, maybe I'll actually add a picture of that. So the third one is pretty massive. It's over 30 centimeters in diameter, so it would barely like fit here. I don't even think that it would fit in frame here. So that was fun too, and that, again, it's like, once you discover that you can make stuff out of cardboard, <laughs> hey, the world's your oyster. So, yeah, uh, as I have the B-roll, I don't know, maybe I will just uh, add some music and put it at the end, in the case of this actually being interesting enough, or in terms of me <laughs> moving my hands around. So, you know, you, you actually want the video, not just a podcast, uh, a guy talking to a microphone stuff. In any case, uh, I hope uh, this was uh, hopefully inspiring. I mean, go out, make stuff and uh, throw it on the internet and keep the inspiration flowing. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.